Good morning everyone. Welcome to this uh, totally tired edition of Talk To Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, June 22nd, 2010 and I am quite tired today. Um, had a really busy weekend. Was gone all day Saturday. Um, part of the day to Linus, part of the day to my sister-in-law's house. She had a big barbecue and a bunch of people came. Drove to Lubbock Saturday to um, hand off my lovely guest of two weeks, Miss P, back to her mom. And um, she met me in Lubbock. It was sort of a halfway point for us. And then we both turned around and drove home yesterday. And I've been working and doing other stuff ever since. So first of all, I want to thank you guys for um, the great response to the, uh, the reconstruction video that I posted last week. I did the She Share tutorial. And I will post a link to that there. You can go straight to the video and have a look at that. Um, great feedback, guys. I really appreciated that. And I will work on the next requested uh, uh, reconstruction tutorial, which is upsizing a t-shirt. So the first thing I want to show you is from QTab, who surprised me by sending something she cleaned out of her closet. And first of all, I have to show you the gift bag because it's fantastic. It, this is fur. And it says monster gift bag inside the tag so great gift bag and then inside the gift bag she said she had found these things and thought I might like to to use them so there's some more of this great fur very monster book of monsters and then we got a little Harry Potter pillow and then this there's a little bit of purple and this is an entire HP panel what I might do, Hutab, if it's okay with you, is I might use this for a prize in a challenge. Um, I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you my collection of Harry Potter fabric and tell you a little background on HP fabric. Um, I have a small collection of Harry Potter fabric. Most of it I have collected since I um, made my Harry Potter quilt in 2006. Um, when I first started looking at and for HP fabric, I realized quickly that First of all, there wasn't a lot of selection of HP fabric. It's almost all in the same color palette, which is blues. Um, there are a couple that have white backgrounds, but they're also in a blue color palette. Um, and the second thing I realized is that they didn't make, there was no fabric manufactured, Harry Potter licensed fabric manufactured after Chamber of Secrets. And you can't find it in stores. You can only get it on eBay and Etsy when people find it and sell it or decide to sell what they have. Um, and the reason is that the fabric didn't sell very well when it came out and by the time people were ready to buy Harry Potter fabric the licensing had expired and the company that had originally licensed it didn't relicense it because Harry Potter is extremely expensive to license as you could probably imagine so there's not a lot of fabric out there there aren't a lot of um, options within the fabric that's available but I will show you what I have some of the Hedwig fabric this is a, um, a Hogwarts panel and as you can see, these are all blue. I need to let Tackett in. Tackett would like to say hi. He hasn't been in a Talk To Me Tuesday in a while. He's been knocking out the door while I'm recording. But since I switched to my digital camera, I find it a lot easier to record standing up, so it's really hard for him to come jump in my lap. I have this, which is not a commercially available fabric. This was actually made for me by um, Anna M. Hudson, and she stamped uh, Harry Potter stamps and then pin them in with a fabric pin. This is the other part of that Hogwarts crest I was showing you. So you've got this crest and then this same fabric has this. I have a few bits and pieces just like little tiny pieces. Quidditch fabric. See this one. This one is the flannel and this one is just cotton. And then there was the polyjuice fabric. Let's say down. House crest that's got the um, the diamond background with the different crests. I didn't have any of this before I started working on my HP quilt, and I also didn't want a quilt that the majority of the quilt was going to be in blues. Um, and what ended up happening is I really wanted um, what I felt represented the Harry Potter series for me. I wanted those things in a quilt and that's how the whole paper piecing Harry Potter started. I did um, a swap with Private Lawn and she makes amazing resin pendants 
And so I sent her a, an ATC, a Texas ATC from the TTNT ATC swap. And I sent her some buttons because I can't not send buttons. And she sent me what we actually swapped for was this, which is the Hogwarts motto. This one is a Lord of the Rings um, keychain. So it's not all those who wander are lost. This is from uh, Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone if you're not in the US. And it's got some text in the background and then it says Norbert on the front. And it's really cool. It's very cool. So I'm really excited about these. I'm going to put this one on a chain. Um, this one, I'll probably put this one on my keychain and I might hang this one in my car because I have like a little Harry Potter um, little shrine kind of hanging from my rearview mirror. So I might hang that there or I'll hang it on my work bag. I might hang it there too. So those are really cool. Thank you, um, Private Lawn, for swapping with me. Last week, I took an applique class and a uh, needle turn applique. This is my progress so far. Um, this is her, one of her designs, I think. And then I've already done, I've done the stems and I've sewn on the leaves. This is all completely by hand, which is, I'm such a machine girl that this feels really slow, but I, I like the way it's coming out. I have a small announcement to make, and that is there will very soon be, by very soon I mean probably before July, will be a shop page added to So Hooked. Um, I have gone through all the steps I need to go through for my estate to legally go into business for myself, and I'm going to start selling some of more, my more complicated project patterns. Everything Harry Potter will remain free, so please, I've gotten a lot of emails from, from people that already know that I'm doing this. I'm not going to take my Harry Potter blocks away from the fandom because those are my gift to the fandom. Those will remain free. The guest designer page will remain. Um, a lot of the miscellaneous patterns are going to go away, mainly because they need to be redesigned. A lot of them are were practice things for me that I did four or five years ago. They're not bad patterns, they just, you know, they don't really represent my work the way I want it to be represented anymore. If you there's something on the miscellaneous page and you really want to have it, do it now. Go ahead and print it now and, and get that so that you have it for later um, because a lot of that's going to change. Uh, there will be a shop page. You will be able to buy, um, there will be crochet patterns for sale. The things that are already free, you're not going to have to worry about those. Those are going to remain. This will be new things that I'll add on. There might be one or two that I pull back just because they need some refining. A lot of this has to do with me wanting to support myself um, with my craft. And I'm, you know, I'm working in a quilt store um, on their website and I'm teaching and I do this every week and I design paper piece patterns, I design crochet patterns. And what I really feel like the next step for me is, is to sell my patterns. I feel like I need to do this for myself. Um, so there will be things available for sale that are from me, by me, and it will be an online store. You'll be able to pay with PayPal and you'll instant download of PDF files. One of the first things that I will be selling, um, this is actually a redesign of an older pattern, but I think it's about a hundred times better because it's one of the first things I ever designed. I, it's been off my website for months because I was redesigning it. And it is this stained glass piece, which I'm holding sideways. And the original of this was designed for my mother-in-law and is in her house. It's much smaller than this. Um, so this will be available for sale in my, um, on So Hooked. It'll still be So Hooked. It'll still be So Hooked.org. For anyone that's curious, I do own So Hooked.org, So Hooked.com, So Hooked.net and they all redirect to sewhook.org. So because everyone knows So Hooked as being my website, I'm just gonna leave it as So Hooked. And then there will be a slight redesign of the website. So I look forward to that being online, hopefully by the end of June. Look for that coming soon. I will make a big announcement when it comes out. I'm very excited about it. I've been working really, really hard to get that um, ready to go. And it is me all by myself. So I'm doing this completely by myself. I'm designing, I'm testing. I'm writing the patterns, I'm getting them ready to be uploaded as PDFs for instant download where all you have to do is pay PayPal and you can download the PDF. Um, so, And eventually I hope to have stock in stores as well, so I will be doing some wholesale stuff as well. I will see you guys next week and if I have rested between now and then there might be another tutorial, but we will have to wait and see what kind of week I have. You guys have a great week, I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.